Right, okay. Um, got a couple of messages on a few videos that I've done. Talking about certain fouls or asking about fouls. Um, generally, I just make it up as I go along. If I come up with something nice, then obviously I try and remember it and do it for the same song. Um, generally, I just play with a lot of feeling. Now, I'm just doing this a wee quick video. That mic's not on. None of the kit is mic'd, so it's just audio from the phone, unfortunately. Just to save time. Now, I'm not going to edit this or anything else. I'm just recording it, as I say, from my phone. I'm just going to upload it. So hopefully, there'll be very little mistakes in my playing. It's not ideal where the camera is, because you can't really see what I'm doing on the kit, but you'll be able to see Hopefully my bass drum fit in anyway, and get an idea of where I place it in certain fouls and grooves, so just wing it. superstition up towards the end, as I say I was in six, so it was just you can do that in seven too. So for me it's just generally putting in the kick drum between a lot of notes and separating fills as opposed to just go It may get a lot easier to play that because there's space in between the hands and also just adds more texture. Um, so that's the hands are some of the stroke, six stroke roll and just add and kick them with <laughs>
singles, doubles, and adding the kick drum. Also, I love adding in the hi hat too, and it feels good. Just adds a different texture again, as opposed to always being so strict in your mind from snare. The toms going down the toms, especially. As opposed to doing something which is just so common, so predictable, and something that doesn't stand out. There's, now that, don't get me wrong, that could work in many songs. Some songs, probably a lot of songs, that's all that's required. It depends on the style of music that you're playing, obviously, for the type of fills that you do and the grooves that you come up with. But for me, because I'm playing a lot of funk, I suppose recently, I love just adding in different textures, like the bell, for example. Um I can't remember particularly, but there's a, a cover song I do play of funky music, and I use a bell in the and I follow playing that quite a lot. Less intrusive fills whenever you add in the tricks in the hi hat as opposed to, <laughs> as opposed to doing that all the time, or just trying to play as fast as you can. To me, it can work again, depending on the music, but it's it's. It's not as nice for a lot of stuff that I'm playing at the moment. And there's no need to go, hey, look at me, this is how fast I can play. For me, it's more about entry, being intricate and playing nicer pieces and just breaking things up. And I like change. I hate playing the same stuff all the time, everything being very static. thing about fills like this, the band needs to be comfortable with you and with their own playing. They need to know that if you go off in one and start playing fills like that, which obviously aren't very predictable, that they know you're going to come on time and they have to be secure in their own playing ability, that they can just sit there and play, whether it's bass guitar, electric guitar, keyboards, whatever, that they can just play their own thing and not get distracted by what you're doing. They can just keep doing what they're doing and know that you're going to come back in on the right time while you come back in on one, three or whatever and the groove's not going to be gone. The thing about drumming is trying to keep the groove and not mess up anybody else's suppose. Play for the song, but then you can play for the moment too. <laughs>
again, there was a sixes in there. And sometimes it's say a variant beat. That's really simple. It's just getting the timing right, the feel of it. Technically, I believe the right way of that is coming out with three kick drums at the end. But for me, I don't like being restricted. I like playing the way I play and the way I feel. So if you're playing that in sevens, forgive me if I play this wrong or get the wrong timing. But. Time. I don't know how many bars you play, it's all math and that kind of carry on. I feel it just, but I like to vary my fills. So, as opposed to being stuck with the fives, the correct phrase was wrong. So, as opposed to being stuck with that, where you're doing three, two in the kick, two in the hands, two in the kick, three. Suppose they're doing that there, or the sixes, which are four and a half, two and a kick. You can play a seven, which is two, two and a kick, two and the hands, two and the kick, and then another four, so. So, by the way, I use Steam Co a lot. can do double toe, but it just, I've always played heel toe and it feels a lot more comfortable to me, it feels like I get more power that way, so as opposed to, I prefer, I prefer doing like that, so that's where my double kicks are coming from, and that's the technique I use. So, as I was saying, I like to bury them, so as opposed to doing your strict fill, um, I like to bury it, so I add in twos, I add in the fours, don't generally add in the threes, because that just mixes things up then, with three, probably the wrong way, but... Just a... There's a variation between two and four. That's all it is. There's this. I can't even believe I uploaded, but I done Mustang Sally for some reason. It's kind of like the groove in that song anyway, and I just uploaded the video. I uh, thought I'd do it. There was a film that whenever I was editing the video and adding music to it, whatever, I discovered that I'd done. And I actually really liked it that much that I had to play it back several times to figure out what I had done. And it, because I enjoyed the film, and that, then I ended up doing it out live because that's one of the songs I've had to do. It's. can't remember where it is now. I could be mistaken by saying 2.14 or 2.30, I don't know, to be honest. I did have. Another tom up here, also, which is just a different note that you end up placing as opposed to the 12. Um, trying to get the, the song in my head on the placement, I think. I think the fill goes. Let me see if I can get the song. It just stops with a stab kind of on the snare. I want 
the start part, so it's just a fill leading up to the stop of the stab. I'll just grease some more and see what comes up. memory-wise on my, on my phone, so I might check it out, um, and maybe do another one, we'll see, I hope this has been useful, I hope the audio hasn't been that bad, generally the amount of compression on 
day for myself. Seems okay for but it was of as I've had to use it in the past. I don't mind anybody asking questions about anything I've done or is there anything in particular that they'd like me to try and do or try and explain. Explaining is always the hardest because as I said to a guy called Tim Garner, I think, last night he commented on one of my videos and was asking me to try and explain in simple terms. It's difficult for me because as I say, I'm not, I'm not, um, let me see, an educated drummer, if you will. I didn't go to drum lessons. I am self-taught. Basically, I've been playing now, I think, Jeekers, it must be 18 years. But I generally just improvise and picked up a lot of things myself. Now, I do know some rudiments, like the six-stroke roll, the power diddle, doubles. You know, things that you do pick up along the way. Or watching all our YouTubers. Um, they can explain a lot of that stuff. So, if there is anything that you'd like me to try and explain or talk through, then generally I will try and do it. Because uh, I like that we can communicate with other drummers this way and also learn from each other. So, I help as much as I can, but regards notation, generally no. I can try and help with stickings. You know, right, left, left, kick, kick, whatever. I can try and help explain some of that. But generally, all my stuff is just vocabulary that I've picked up. But as I say, I vary it. I edit it in different ways. There are probably very little drum fills. Maybe I'm talking rubbish, maybe I'm not aware. But there's probably very little drum fills that I do that are repetitive or similar as in being 100% the, the way I played it before if that makes sense as opposed to as I say doing the sixes with a four in the hands or two in the feet playing that that there will generally vary most times I play it maybe I'll start later in the bar maybe I'll do a stab first um, I'll just do a very quick example before I stop. So, as opposed to me playing the fill this way. So, as opposed to me playing the fill that way, I may play it. Ah, I couldn't do it. Right, see, I'm just making it up as I go along, I don't know. in there and just play the fours but as I said before I go I am different I start different I may do something slightly different in between and I like it I mean that's that's just the style of my playing for generally the music that I work with now you some drummers don't have that chance to be different. Um, I was an original rock band before, and because it was slightly intricate stuff, actually some of it was very intricate, then I done what I suppose most professional drummers or most professional artists, songwriters do. Once you create a pattern or a drum track, then you play it the same all the time. And that's cool for certain material, I, I love that there, but the kind of stuff I'm doing now, then it's not, it's not needed. If there's a certain drum lick or a groove in, in the song that is potential to the song, and it has to be played that way, then you'll know it, you'll, you'll listen to it, and you'll hear it, and you're thinking, right, I have to play that full like that every night but maybe the other fills you can vary slightly or whatever
Okay, enough talking as I hate this part of it. Um, until next time.